Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel TechFlix. In today's video, we are going to see how can a teacher upload activities using Seesaw in her class. Okay, so you come to the page. Over here, you can see this add button. Click over here and three options will come. Post student work, assign activity and send announcement. So click on assign activity. Two options will come community or my library. So from community, you can choose a video or a ready-made seesaw and assign it to your students. Or if you want to make it on your own, go to my library. Click on create new activity. Like the title of the activity. Student instructions. Then you can even add your voice instructions. And if you don't want to, it's completely optional. Click over here, add multimedia instructions for example. When you click over here, six options will come. Photo, drawing, video, upload, note or link. If you click on photo, then it will show you your own photo. If you click over here on drawing, then there are various tools over here. For example, you, if you come to these three dots more, you can upload shapes and background. You can choose any background, whichever you like, according to your wish. You can even choose these lines at all. You can add your voiceover. You can add a photo of yourself or you can even upload it. You can add shapes. You can add text. You can change the color of the text. You enter here by clicking on the pencil. You can upgrade pencil. By clicking over here, you can upgrade pen. Okay, so you can write with pen. You can even change the color of the pen according to your. Here comes highlighter. You can highlight this. Or here comes uh, like boundary highlighter. You can do it like this. You can change colors. Yeah. Here's the eraser, and you can select what you want to erase. Or oh, sorry, you can erase what these highlights and your drawing. You can't erase the text and the shape. Once you're done. Click over here on the star uh, click button. It's uploading. Example is attached. If you want the students to respond in the same way, you can add template. Or when you click on more options, teacher notes. That's not visible. Uh, and then you can click on save. Once your activity is saved, you can click over here and add to your collection numbers. If you don't want, it's completely up to you. And uh, you can copy and edit activity, edit activity, delete, and share activity by clicking over here. You can assign this activity to your students, assign to one class. You can schedule it. And um, so, how can you use these activities? It's over here. You uh, click on the love. Then assign activities to your students. So this will make sure that the activity is in your collection. Then students respond using CSA tools and you approve student responses. So this is how you work with CSA. Now we'll move back to class and see how can students use uh, CSA. So over here, so we'll go over here, go to this setting button and sign up. Then click on I am a student. Sign in with Google. Okay. Yeah. One more thing. So when 
we were in a teacher yeah so for teachers this is important if you want your students to join your class then it's really important for you to give them the code so i'll tell you from where can you find the code once you click over here on students click on yes this is the code copy it yeah now i'll log out i'll sign out and sign in as a student let's see how students can do so over here you write the code to directly join in your class then continue with google okay sorry so i did it from the same account yeah so once you go to your this in here here it is this is your classwork go to activities so there is no activities uh, pending for response so maybe just like this if you want to add something click on add i'm sure you can do anything like for example note so you know i can right and then click on the uh, tick button you can even record or edit it up to you okay now let me show you as the student is over here so how can a teacher view the student right so this was for students how students can use seesaw now once your student has joined in a teacher can view it like this So in inbox you see notification this person added a material so you can see from here and if you want to delete a student you want to remove a student go to students so you click on this person Yeah, so if you want to remove the student, come to this tool, click on students, edit students, from here, combine with the student journal or remove student from class. So, remove student, and this is done. You can even remove the work from here. So, the work won't go because... Yeah, so you can delete item. Delete. So this is it for Seesaw.